Welcome to Buy the Rupee Personal Finance Podcast. My name is Darshan. I am the founder at the buy the rupee.com. Today's podcast we will understand why do we need to have an emergency fund? What are the ways of saving this emergency fund? And we'll go through example to understand where we can use this emergency fund. In the current situation many people have experienced salary cuts or even job loss during such times an emergency fund can come in handy and help you to tide over the situation with relative ease here is a quick guide or a pathway that we can build the emergency fund first of all let us understand what is the importance of emergency fund in today's situation especially in this pandemic whether it's good or the bad apart from the regular things that you have saved you need to be prepared financially while you can plan for some of the foreseeable expenses an emergency fund can help you to manage all unplanned expenses efficiently in most of the time we use this emergency fund during the job loss or for seen medical expenses what is the basic rule or how much of fund do we need to save in our emergency fund this largely depends upon an individual and his financial needs each individual has a unique combination of lifestyle number of dependents the income and unavoidable expenses let's say the monthly expenditure of a person is 30000 and also he has an emi to pay about 25000 so this together should construct your emergency fund per month on the calculation this is about 55000 per month and by the thumb rule you need to have about 6 months of emergency fund built in your savings or checking account that is about 330000 or 50000 with a buffer added this emergency fund should not be touched for any other expenditure to buy a car to build a home to have a vacation or to travel this should be used only on your pants on fire situation where you do not have any other income source what is the principle or a rule behind this emergency fund let's suppose there is a job loss and the person who is having to pay his utility bill monthly expenditure grocery and an emi should not be left in the dark until he gets another job or an income stream to pay for those ex- expenses this is a relative situation where you can use your part of your emergency fund for a couple of months to pay all these obligatory commitments and then move on during that time to find a job or alternative income this is a main reason to have emergency fund built during one financial career and this is also one of the thumb rule that everyone should adapt whenever he get his first salary in the previous episode of budgeting we saw what is the different ways or the mechanism through which one can determine his monthly budget along with the budgeting once you have the number you take up the number multiplied by 6 that's your 6 months of um, reserve amount that you need to keep in your alternative account it's better to invest the liquid funds or the best india's preferred way of saving is in your fd summing up in today's time most of us strive for financial independence at younger age that they want to be able to retire in their 40s and have all the financial needs taken care 
as we are progressing towards this road we should have an emergency fund built during one's start of the career and revisited time and time in case if you are planning for unforeseen circumstances in the long future it's always better to have an year worth of expenditure saved in case uh, you have as the inflation cost increases over time it's best revisited from time to time increase the corpus amount that is saved on your savings account checking account or wherever you have parked this emergency fund if you have not listened to the previous episode on the budgeting go back to the episode number 1 which is the first step towards financial planning make an activity on your budget how much do you need it per month including all the tax uh, including all your utilities emis and other bills that needs to be paid and then calculate times 6 that is your 6 months of amount that you need to plan it and start working towards how you can build up your emergency fund